Hello and welcome to UK Fitness Hub. My name is Travis Tarrant and today we're going to be covering ulnar nerve glides. Let's get into it. The ulnar nerve derives from the brachial plexus and it's a continuation of the medial cord. The ulnar nerve starts off life in between vertebrae C7 and T1, where my pinky finger is. Now, the nerve roots are a little bit different. The nerve roots of the ulnar nerve are C8 to T1. And this is because we've got eight cervical nerve roots, whereas we've only got seven cervical vertebrae. So it's just done between C7 and T1. If I turn around the skeleton, the ulnar nerve comes over the top of the first rib and then underneath the clavicle. It runs posteriorly down the arm until it gets to the medial epicondyle in which it sits posteriorly as well. So what on earth does all that mean? Well, firstly, it goes from the neck, underneath the clavicle, down the back of the arm. Now the medial epicondyle, if I was to bring my arm out in front, this pointy ridge on the inside of my elbow is the medial epicondyle. So the nerve sits posteriorly, so it's just behind it. Now what can happen, because this is the most commonly injured site, we've got three, the neck, the elbow, and then the wrist and hand. What can happen at this site is the nerve can start to pop over the medial epicondyle, so go from posterior to anterior in front of, and it generally does this upon flexion. So as we flex the wrist up, some people experience popping that would be more of a case of surgery and going to an orthopedic surgeon rather than anything you could do with nerve glides. So I would look more into ulnar nerve transposition surgery, um, which we're not gonna cover in this video. The ulnar nerve then runs down the forearm before it gets to the hands and it branches off into two sections, the sensory section and the deep section. So the sensory section is the superficial section and if I was to lightly touch the fifth finger, what you would find is that sensation would then tell you the ulnar nerve is working correctly. If it's more of a motor issue, it will be the deep branch because the ulnar nerve actually innervates various muscles of the hand. Nerve glides are also known as nerve flossing and when we've got an injured nerve, it can become unable to glide properly. This then causes the onset of symptoms such as, for some people, pins and needles, tingling, and other people, stabbing, shooting pains. Nerve glides can be useful to stretch out the nerve, just like we would with a muscle, and this can help with compression and also inflammation as well. So you'd get three main sites in which you'd get pain with an ulnar nerve injury. That would either be the neck, elbow, or hand and wrist. Let's get into some of those nerve glides that we can do to help ease pain. All of the following nerve glides you can either do standing or seated. For your first nerve glide, start with one arm bent and touch your index finger and thumb together. Begin to extend your wrist back and forth in a slow controlled tempo. The further you flex your wrist forward and back, the more abrasive this nerve glide becomes. So start off cautiously with a small range of movement. It is important not to stress the nerve and for that reason, only complete one set of 10 to 15 repetitions. For your second nerve glide, begin to make a fist with your hand and place your hand to the side of your body. Flex your wrist towards your body, and then, as you slowly rotate your wrist to face behind you, you also want to turn to face away. So in this example, I'm using my left hand, and I'm turning my head to face towards my right shoulder. If this is too gentle, rather than turning the head away, you can start to tilt, which is the more abrasive variation. Now we have our last variation. Begin with your hands and fingers as straight as possible by the side of your body. As you bend your arm up, extend your wrist back and keep your hands and fingers as straight as you can. Again, like the previous two, repeat this for no more than 10 to 15 repetitions one set. And that concludes the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching and if you learned something new please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. 
By liking the video and subscribing to the channel, it helps me to grow my channel to a bigger audience to help more people with free educational content. My name's Travis Tarrant and you've been watching UK Fitness Hub.